Hello and welcome to this recording uh, in our series on Active Directory demos. So um, continue with the Active Directory certificate services and demonstrations. We're showing in this video how to configure um, certificates for enrollment agent. And so in the case where you want um, certain users to be able to enroll certificates on behalf of another user. And so I'm currently on um, my certification authority server and uh, learn this one so if i bring up the certification authority console uh, what i can do is right click on this and go on the um, manage i can see the enrollment agents um, certificate here um, so that's for the computer for user so if i go under the properties for this and go under security um, so uh, you can add a group here that you want to be able to use this enrollment agent certificate. In this case, I've added the user called uh, Ali, and I've gave Ali the right to read this certificate and also to be able to enroll uh, this certificate. Um, so in the meantime, the other thing I also do is if I go on the group policy, I just want to edit my default domain policy so that we don't get the little annoying Windows logon. Uh, Windows welcome screen. Go on the system on the logon. Um, show for sign in animation. I'll just disable that. Um, disable and apply that. Um, okay. Then if we close the. Um, So back to learn to so one, I'll just quickly sign in and just do a group policy and uh, refresh. Um, so GP update slash force, our force group policy. Um, um, refresh so going back to this I have my enrollment agent here I have configured um, a user in this in your in production environment you probably want to use a group uh, maybe a group that contains certain administrative users and um, so you have the user that you want to be able to um, enroll the certificate so i've done that for hilly so the next thing that i'll do is um, i have to click ok to that first of all and then if I close out of this, I can go back to my certification authority console and say certificates to new certificate templates to issue and add the enrollment agent certificate. So now um, the people can um, certificate can be issued against that template. Um, but in this case, the other thing that I want to do is if I go under my edit room CA, I go on the properties, I can go on the enrollment agent here and then um, the default is set to not restrict enrollment agent, but that's probably not, not the best security settings. So after I select restrict, then it says um, everyone can be an enrollment agent. Um, everyone can issue against um, all certificates templates. So that's not what I want. I just want a single user to be able to do this. So I'll go early and I'll remove everyone. And on the certificates template, I only want the enrollment agent certificate. I don't want them to be able to issue against all um, certificate templates. So I'll remove all and then I'll add only the enrollment agent certificate template. So then let's get rid of all. And permissions, uh, if I go ahead and, and say and Marketing. I remove everyone. So just to show you what's been done. Great users and computers. So yeah, policy applied already here on the client. So this is the client that, and if I type log off correctly. So this is the client that we're going to be using for verification, and we're going to be logging in as Ailey. So I 
Okay. Let's just quickly find the marketing group. Members. So these are the members of the marketing group. And what I'm basically saying is, hey, um, with this configuration on the properties there, what I'm saying is Ailey can enroll um, the certificate templates and which particular um, users can she enroll uh, certificates on behalf, just users in this group. So if I go ahead and apply that, and click OK. So if I go back to this machine, I can bring up MMC. And also before doing that, just need to bring up the command prompt. Do EGP update. So I'll bring up a certificate here and go OK. So let's expand that. So what I'm going to be doing is we've uh, configured the enrollment agent certificate. Uh, we've set it so that we can issue certificates against it. And we've configured the settings under the uh, certification authority as to the user who can be an enrollment agent. Um, so under Ailey's account, I want to request a new certificate. And in this case, I'm going to request the enrollment agent certificate. And um, yep, enrollment agent certificate. Enroll that. And that's finished. So now I have a certificate request agent. So what I can do is I can right click here and go on the advanced operations and go on the enroll on behalf of and go next. Um, sign in certificate in this case I can select um, the certificate that we just enrolled, the enrollment agent certificate. And let's just look for a user that's in the marketing group. Um, so let's see we have Adam bar in the marketing group so that's good so we enroll a certificate for adam um but let's just check out other users like um Haren. Haren is not in uh, the marketing group but adam is so let's see if we can enroll a certificate for adam using that certificate the enrollment agent certificate that really just got This will come up <coughs> shortly. Yeah, um, let's say I want to enroll a user certificate next. Set my location to other term. So actually, yeah, um, I need to, I probably need to go back. Yeah, it, it's denied because the reason why that's denied is because the policy that I've configured here, or the settings that I've configured here again, um, the certificate that I've said um, the user can request is this enrollment agent certificate. So again, if this uh, comes up, yeah, and if I go on the enrollment agent, I've said, hey, certificate template, you can only issue the enrollment agent. So that's why that failed. So I'll need to go cancel this, and let's go to this for one of the certificates that we've enabled it for. So again, sign-in certificate will be the enrollment agent certificate for Ellie. So we have the certificate for Ellie, and I can go next. Okay, select the enrollment agent certificate. Um, Adam is, the, is one of the marketing users. So if we go Adam Bam and enroll and dash will succeed. 
Okay, next user. So let's pick a user that's not in this marketing group. Let's pick Aaron, which is, which, so if we go Aaron and confirm that Aaron is not a member of marketing group, he's only in sales. So let's see if we can enroll a certificate for Aaron. Okay, enroll and failed. The reason why that failed again, back to our policy. So really simple, really straightforward. You want to limit this, you don't want to set it for everyone. So the enrollment agents that we're allowing, in this case, in your production, you probably want a group that contains your admins, yeah? So we want it for Dr. Mihaly. And the certificate templates that, uh, that um, Ellie can request against is only the enrollment agent, nothing else. And the people that she can enroll this on behalf of are only people in this group. So you want to make sure you limit that. And that's just a short demo of how to use the enrollment um, agent certificate um, in Active Directory Certificate Services. Thanks very much for watching this video.